the, the beauty of art to me is it doesn't have to be practical. Modern architecture and you know, classical architecture should be able to blend absolutely seamlessly. Architecture is not about solving a single problem. The genius, I think, of my father's architecture, and all great architects, in fact, is that with one gesture, you solve a multitude of problems. When my father was first asked about it, he didn't tell anybody except my mother. And he made, over the course of a, an entire year, a number of round trips to Paris secretly just to walk around the Louvre to really understand not only the museum, but also its entire surroundings. What we were trying to show was that our project was really inspired by all of Paris. The whole project was about integrating politics and the history uh, into a project of contemporary architecture. My father thought of it as something that it had to be a pyramid. It couldn't be, for example, a cube or a dome. There are no surfaces that are parallel to the existing buildings. It divorces itself from the fundamental geometry of the other buildings, which makes it unique. And at the same time, it's not threatening to the existing pavilions. But then when it also, when it came to actually building and detailing the pyramid, he said, the glass has to be a glass that doesn't have any tint. And he came up with the idea, and I remember him very clearly stating, he says, I do not, I, my MP, do not want this glass, when viewed through it, to interfere with your understanding of the color of the pavilions. Now, of course, if you remember those days, all glass, all building glass, was slightly green. And the thicker the glass, the greener it is. And he said, no, 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 no. We have to find some glass that isn't green. And so we did a lot of research and we found some glass that we call low iron glass. And so we absolutely insisted on having low iron glass so that when you look through it and you see the facades of the palace, there would be no distortion in the color. I mean, 25-year award you know, from the AIA is a really special acknowledgement, not just of the quality of a project, but of its enduring value, that it's lasted that long, arrived at a point where it can actually be recognized as one of the really great uh, accomplishments in architecture of our time. <laughs>